Another chapter is coming to an end in the Imperial Avenue murders. Tomorrow morning, crews will demolish the house at East 123rd and Imperial Avenue, where 11 women were murdered by a serial killer. Good evening, I'm Danita Harris. Hey, good evening, I'm Chris Flanagan. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is live with that story. She spoke tonight with a man who was the councilman in that ward when the women were murdered. That's right. Councilman Zach Reed says once the house comes down, it must be replaced with a fitting memorial, he says, so that we never forget. It is a house that most in this neighborhood want to forget. The house where 11 women were murdered by convicted serial killer Anthony Sowell. A tragedy that Councilman Zach Reed, who once represented that ward, says we must never forget. We all need to take the blame for this. I mean, whether it's the criminal justice system itself, whether it's the elected officials, whether it's people who didn't go do the things they should have done because they believe that these victims were prostitutes or had done things, bad, drug addicts or whatever it may be, I think we got to keep we got to keep this alive for a fitting memorial to be able to say this should never ever happen again. The house will be torn down first thing in the morning. Family members of the victims were notified by letter, and word quickly spread to the neighborhood where tonight there is a collective sigh of relief. That'll be a blessing. The people no longer will see it, and it'll be out of the way. There's a whole bunch of negativity coming from this house, you know. I mean, it'd be better for the neighborhood. The demolition may also put an end to the gawkers, who two years later still drive by and take pictures. This hopefully be another hammer in the nail that this thing is finally coming to an end, and then we set up a nice memorial so that we can never forget. Of course, Anthony Sowell was convicted in those murders over the summer and sentenced to death. The city told the families that the house is going to be demolished in such a way that no piece of property will remain. Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.